also won today, they would win the championship for the first time unless Hoyt scored sufficient points to overcome that differential. I'm sure it's a challenge that the Hoyt people relished. Well, let's see how it went and look firstly at Hoyt against Musselburgh with reporter Forbes McFall. After 10 minutes, Musselburgh were tied with Hoyk at three points apiece. Then Hoyk's pack put on the pressure. Their first try to Sean McCorkey. Minutes before, Hoyk's captain Keith Murray had gone off injured. The Musselburgh defence was proving hard to crack, but Hoyk were running the ball at every opportunity. Oliver out to gas and then down the line. Fullback Colin Easton up in support and a try for substitute Gregor Sharp. But Hoig found it hard to press home their advantage. Then, just before half time, scrum half Greg Oliver seized his chance and burrowed his way across the line. Two minutes after the interval, Hoig's back row struck again. A second try for Sean McCaughey. Musselburgh began to feel the strain. Hoik's forwards were powerful and dominant and quick to strike for the line. Their back row again, and this time the try scorer, Paul Hoggarth. But Hoik's backs were also in the action. A quick break by Greg Oliver, out to Gregor Sharp in support. Back to Oliver, inside to Paul Hoggarth, and his second try. <laughs> Musselburgh were wilting under relentless Hoyk pressure. This time, flanker Derek Turnbull crashing through. And Hoyk continued to pile up the points, meeting little opposition. They were running the ball at every chance. This time, Sean McCaughey in support and a try in the corner for Colin Easton. By this time, Hoik's forwards were winning everything. Colin Gass and a long pass out on the wing to Gregor Sharp. And he's through in the corner for his second try. And Hoik's forwards kept up the pressure. Jerry McGuinness inside to Brian Rennick and Hoik's 10th try. The final score, Hoik 51, Musselburgh 3. Hoik had won by a 48-point margin. They'd closed the gap on Kelso, but was it enough to hold on to the title? Bill McLaren was across at Poinder Park, where Kelso met Heriots with the championship at stake.